So if you are not a religious person and you feel like there is nothing wrong with watching porn, this is the perfect video for you. I used to be that person. There are so many things wrong with pornography addiction that goes way beyond religion. And after you watch this video, I can 100% convince you of it. So why is it going to negatively affect you? Why is it going to negatively affect your everyday life? And why is it going to negatively affect your relationships? I can answer all of these scientifically. So not even what I believe, but from a scientific standpoint. When it comes to the chemistry of your brain, the neurochemicals that are passing through your brain, your brain likes to remain balanced. So if you take drugs like amphetamines, cocaine, um, you're gonna skyrocket your dopamine past levels that are unnatural, okay? Levels that you cannot nearly produce on a natural basis. Like probably the most stimulating thing you can do on a natural level is sex. And things like amphetamines, cocaine, they skyrocket your dopamine past the most exciting thing you can do naturally, like sex. And guess what? Pornography does the same thing, okay? If you look at a graph of the dopamine output that is released in your brain when you are watching porn, it is by far higher than sex. Now, every porn addict, what happens is they sit there and they have to click through 50 videos, you know, to do the deed. Why is that? It's because it is the progression of an addiction, okay? What happens is your brain is going to start knocking off your dopamine receptors when you abuse your dopamine because it wants to reach balance. So if you're constantly abusing the dopamine in your brain, your brain is going to fight back and it is going to try to get your dopamine rebalanced. So what's going to happen is it's going to start knocking off the dopamine receptors and there's going to be less circulating dopamine in your brain. Now, why is this bad? It's because when you are going through day-to-day -day life, your baseline dopamine is going to be much lower than somebody that is not on drugs or addicted to porn. When your dopamine is lowered and you are living your life every single day with low baseline dopamine, you're going to have many side effects from that. And let's go through them now. Depression, numbness, anxiety, um, the inability to connect with people how you should, the inability to love. When you're off that stimulus that is stimulating the dopamine, you're going to feel very numb. Somebody that has not abused drugs and that has not abused pornography can do simple things in life, like go on a walk, have a conversation, um, drive through the countryside, and they can feel very stimulated. They can experience mild euphoria because they have not abused the dopamine in their brain. And I am speaking from personal experience. When I was a teenager, and when I was in my lower 20s, I was addicted to porn. I felt very numb. It was very, very hard for me to love and connect with other people. It was very, very hard for me to get motivated. It was very, very hard to do a lot of things. It was just hard to carry on with life in general. I felt numb and depressed all the time. And the only time I felt alive was when I was on you know, alcohol, or I smoked marijuana, or took an Adderall. That's the only time that I felt alive. And I didn't know why. I thought that's how I was supposed to be, but it, it was not how I was supposed to be. Um, it was because I was addicted to a stimulus that could skyrocket my dopamine levels to unnatural levels, and literally, it's at the flick of a thumb. You don't need to swallow anything. You don't need to wait for anything. You can literally turn this dopamine switch on in the matter of seconds. And the thing that you're addicted to is in your pocket all the time, the smartphones. 
the young kids that are becoming addicted to porn at 10 years old, nine years old, which is very common nowadays, um, they are setting that baseline stimulus. So, you know, somebody that's exposed to hours of pornography every single day at such a young age, there is going to be so much down regulation and rewiring of the brain that when they meet a female, they're not going to be able to fall in love properly. They're not going to be able to care for that person properly. They are not going to be able to have satisfying sex with that person. And the reason being is because their level of normal is flicking through 50 to 100 videos of naked women every single day. That's why it becomes so easy for them to cheat and not feel a thing about it, not feel guilty. They do it because they're cheating when they pick up their phone and they're masturbating to other naked women. Most people don't see it like that, but that is the truth. If you're masturbating to naked women online as a male, you are cheating on your partner. You're getting off to other women and it's going to have a trickle down effect in not becoming satisfied with the person that you're with. It's going to be hard to connect. You're going to feel very numb. You're going to see women as an object. Having low baseline dopamine also causes things like ADD, anxiety, depression, social anxiety, panic attacks, low motivation. So bumming around and playing a bunch of video games. Video games are also a very high dopamine releasing activity. So think about it like this for the people that are in their upper 20s, 30s and beyond. Remember when you were a kid and you used to play outside all the time? That was the funnest part of your day, riding your bike and playing football outside or Whatever you did outside, building a sandcastle, playing in the woods. Why are kids not doing that anymore? Why don't you see kids anywhere playing? Because they have their porn and their video games. There is nothing in this world besides drugs that can match the amount of pleasure that they get from watching porn and playing video games. And then you add all the social media on top where they're just flicking through all this novelty that's just releasing dopamine constantly. And they cannot enjoy things like riding a bike. They cannot enjoy things like sitting down and reading a book. They cannot function properly because their baseline dopamine is so low. They cannot. And this is what I call the silent killer, okay? Because when you start watching porn at such a young age, you don't know what it's doing to you. It's like eating and drinking water. You know, you started before your brain even was even close to fully developing. And that's just all you know. All you know is being addicted to porn. So... Now you get with a female when you're 17, 18 years old, and you can't get an erection. You can't get off to a woman. This is what's going on across the world. Men that are 18, 19, 20 years old with erectile dysfunction. It's because their baseline level of stimulus is so high, and it's so constant, and they can see more naked women in 30 minutes than our ancestors could see in a lifetime before the internet. And even before the videos and, you know, magazines and stuff. Think about the guys that used to live in the woods. We can see more naked women now in 30 minutes on our cell phones than our ancestors saw in a lifetime. The ones that were living in the woods. So the progression of porn addiction happens very similar to drugs, okay? What happens? You start out watching normal porn, right? You start out watching normal porn and you're getting off to it. Well, what happens? A couple months later, it's not doing it for you anymore. It's because your brain's fighting back. It's building a tolerance to the porn just like it does with drugs. So what do you do? You move on to the more hardcore porn. Now you're watching gangbangs. 
Now you're watching violent porn where the girl's being choked and gagged. You watch that for three or four months and what happens? This doesn't happen to everybody, but it happens to a lot of people and a lot of people are not going to admit this. The straight male is going to move on to things like tranny porn and gay porn. Even though they are not attracted to a male, they are doing it because they need the new stimulation. The brain has fought back from the porn it's used to just like a drug and it's developed a tolerance. And now they need to move on to newer stuff. And when a straight male starts watching gay porn and tranny porn because they can't get off the normal porn anymore, guess what it's gonna progress to from there? They're gonna start having sex with other males and transsexuals because they have abused the dopamine receptors in their brain. That may sound ridiculous if it hasn't happened to you, but that is the reality. A lot of people see a guy that has sex with a transsexual and they call him a homo, a queer, a fag. And I'm not saying that, I'm repeating that. But it's not the reality. They're not really attracted to men. They have just become so desensitized from the porn addiction that they have moved on to uh, bigger, more novel things. That is why guys progress to the transsexual porn because it's the freakiest, most novel thing that you can watch, a creature that you would never see in nature. And I'm not trying to call them creatures in a demeaning way. I'm just saying that's how the brain processes it. Before medical interventions, you could not be a male and grow boobs and turn into a female. So the reason why guys become attracted to this is because of the progression of porn addiction most of the time some guys may be in the closet and you know they start hooking up with transsexuals to you know slowly move to the men but there are a lot of straight men that hook up with transsexuals because it started with the porn and they progress to it big lenny from the delray misfits talks about this this is not BS. You can read the book, Your Brain on Porn, that was written by a neuroscientist and he actually talks about this. Porn addiction is so prominent in our society that there have been professors that have tried to research the damaging effects from pornography and they could not round up enough young males that were not watching porn. They could not have a control group. If you read the book, Your Brain on Porn, the only thing that the guy can go off of is the structural changes in the brain from pornography and anecdotal um, stories from people that are porn addicted, like how it changed their life in a negative way. Researchers literally cannot compile enough research from the damaging effects of porn because young males are all doing it. Even the young males that you go to church with are watching porn. I'm not saying 100% of them, but I would guarantee about 8 to 9 out of 10 of them are. I would guarantee that. So again, you do not have to be religious to understand the damage that pornography addiction causes. If you're some guy that can handle watching it, you know, once every few months, which I don't even think that exists, but if some guy is able to control it to that level, then, you know, it's not going to be harmful. But anything where you're able to abuse your dopamine receptors to that level, um, three to 400 to 500% from baseline, there are going to be structural changes in your brain and it is going to negatively affect your life. So, um, there is literally no argument against watching porn and porn addiction. The freaking data is there. You can look at the structural changes of the brain from porn addiction. You can look at the amount of dopamine that is released compared to amphetamines and cocaine. And a lot of guys that use amphetamines and cocaine, they use the porn too. Combine the two and God, you're, I mean, your dopamine is crushed when you're not on the amphetamines or watching the porn. And there are going to be a lot of consequences from it. I'm not trying to speak in a judgmental manner. I am speaking not only from a scientific basis, but from a personal perspective. Because I have been through 
the addiction of pornography. And right now I've been free from it for a very long time. Do I have slip ups? Yes, they have happened, but I do not allow myself to get in that negative loop ever because I know the difference of how I feel today and how I felt when I was severely addicted to pornography. So that's all I got to say today, guys. Please subscribe. Please leave your comment. I want to hear what you guys think. If you got any stories of your own, be free to share it. And uh, thank you for watching.